ladies and gentlemen. Now, in today's video, we're going to be testing out a 6-6 fully wailed assault mode Meliodas in global PvP. And I thought to spice it up a little bit in today's video, we go for Glocks, because that gives us the ability to remove Ghost's pumpkin bombs, and also the commandment to slow down Escanor for the first two turns. However, I don't like the fact that he's already got the merger, man. We might be in a little bit of trouble here. Um, so yeah, I think he's just going to get him for Melascular, I would assume. Uh, oh my goodness, dude. This is this is not boding well for us, man. This is certainly not boding well for us. Okay, I'm thinking like turn two. What do we want to go for here? Hmm. Okay, we do have Glox's Commandment. Okay, that's going to massively slow down Escanor. I think we're in a pretty good position here. So yeah, I think let's move this. And then if we use this card, and then we can go for this. And this, like, this blocks out a lot of stuff, dude. What a pretty good spot. And then, like, Escanor. Escanor is a sourceless man next turn. He's got no level 2 cards. This man can only use bronze cards next turn. Um, <laughs> he's also got Glox's Commandment. So yeah, I think this first match has got exactly how we wanted it to go. Whether or not I can, like, seal the deal and win here is another question. But I'm, I'm curious, ma'am. Okay, right, so we got Glox's uh, Commandment. Barely dealt any damage there. So yeah, Glox, Glox should be fine to survive, man. And then I think let's go for Meliodas's, um ultimate here. And then I think we go for a cleave. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's go for Melly's ultimate. And then I think Glocks is all over here. Actually, do we cleave next? I think we cleave actually. And then we full send into Escanor, I think. Should be enough damage here, man. There's there's no crits on this, but again, we've got some massive base damage. Uh, hopefully we got enough with Glocks as single target to finish off Escanor here, man. We should be good. We got 6-6 six, six Glocks. So yeah, let's have a little bit of a look here. Should be fine. He's on half health. Like, he's quite hard. Oh my, dude, you're actually, you're taking the Michael, mate. <laughs> no, bro, that Escanor is so low. Oh my gosh. I haven't maxed out my Glocks attack cosmetics, bro. And it, it's by me in the ass here, man. Um... Does Assault Melee survive? I got like... Gosh, how much? I got like 70% additional health. Hmm. I'm a little bit curious. Okay, so that echo damage is going to go onto Glocks. Um, we, we might be able to make the comeback here. Right, let's have a little bit of a look. What do we have? We do have Glocks' command, man. Hmm. I, th I think we go for the heal here. I don't really want to upgrade that melee, man. That's going to be my downfall if I do. Also, I kind of need to look at rushing um, ult. It's annoying that I can't heal and get the best of both worlds here uh, on Glock. So I think I go for the Glock's heal. I think that's the best play. Because then we still got a lot of damage next turn. Um... Yeah, this should be interesting, man. It just puts Glocks in a safe position so that I'm not down to one card. Okay, nice. Oh, that could, that could be good. Be really good. I think he's going to try and rush Lost Veins all. Yeah, he's definitely going for that. Hmm. I think actually committing to this play um, means that we can probably kill Melly next turn, I think. I think we just full send into Melly here, man. I probably should have gone for Melly last turn. But there we go. Oh, dude, that is plenty of overkill, man. That's a really, really good time. And yeah, this match is pretty much done. But fair play to Nay for that. That was a, a really, a really strange match. But also very fun and very, very intense. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that, man. I think at this point, Escanor's not going to be able to um, uh, quite clutch it back, I would assume. So yeah, we just got um, one Glocks card here. And then we fire off the Ultima, and then we are good to go. The match is in the bag. We're done. Right, let's go for it. Oh, we t to be fair, we didn't even need to do that, man. There's already a fair amount of debuffs on, so I think just using that first would have uh, been also a good play. All right, so we just had to skip out a few matches, man. There were a couple of bot matches, and one match I played so terribly, man. I just embarrassed myself, but... um. 
Let's have a bit of a look. I think there's a good chance that this is a player here. Again, a lot of AM teams are either running evasion food at the moment. Um, so yeah, I, I think there's a good chance of this being evasion food here. So I think that's merge on Glocks. Let's go for this. Bang out the evasion food. I'm assuming there's evasion food anyway, and more soul suck as well. And then hopefully we can just draw um what assault mode Meliodas card next turn. Nice dude. Would have been a bit safer to move around an assault melee card just to make sure I could potentially rush out. Uh, but I think this should be fine regardless. I'm not too worried about this draw, or because I really don't think it's going to do too much. And plus as well, he's actually just screwed himself over here. <laughs> because, um, yeah, he's just activated Glox's Commandment using two skills in a turn. So yeah, uh, Droll's ult's going to hit for like nothing, man. So yeah, we, we chill in, the, in that regard. And let's move uh, this over here. And I think this over here. And then we're going to top deck um, Melly's ult. We got one stack of the buff. Which is, um, you know, kind of kind of what we need with the ult. 6-6 six, six ult, one stack, man. I think it's just about enough. But here, the big mistake that he might be making is not factoring in uh, Glox's commandment. So, again, massive damage reduction. And then I think he was looking to, like, send and win the match. And maybe if Glox's commandment wasn't in play, that actually might have worked. But now he's giving me the buffs, dude. I've got all of the source to get slap in. Uh, so yeah, I think we just um, melt Melascula quick here, and then go for this play, and then just, even with the reduction mana, we enough to kill AM Melee here. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I should have just, <laughs> maybe I should have just said the ult first. But I think this is, this is fine as well, man. <laughs> just prevents any, like, funny business when Melascula's revived. But yeah, we chillin', boys. We absolutely chillin'. But yeah, that was, a, that was a cool match, man. The thing I really enjoy about the Assault Mode Meliodas Mirror matches is, is there's just, like, a lot of fun trying to figure out, like, when you can and can't send it. Um, so yeah, it can, it can sometimes, like, massively blow up in your face. But let's have a look. Okay, that's interesting here, man. Okay, we got the one Escanor behind Tank Deanne, which is good. Better than Goddess Liz, because no Liz shields here. Um, the annoying thing is we don't have that melee merger instantly. So that's slightly unfortunate. He didn't go for upgrade on... Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think what we go for here, man. Let me move this around, move this around. And then... What was the upgrade on? Did he use upgrade himself? Or did he not use upgrade? I don't think he used upgrade, actually. So, yeah, I think we go for the, the Glocks card here, then. And then next turn, uh, we want to line up a play where we can get rid of Pumpkin Bombs and then rush all. So, we'll see what happens. He's probably looking at a play to sort the Escanor cards. I think he's got a nice... Oh, dude, he actually might have fallen for the Glock's bait there. Dude, he fell for the Glock's bait, 100%, man. There was a silver card, and, um... Yeah, just disappeared, man. Just disappeared. That's fantastic news. So now we can just go for this, and then move this, and then move this. <laughs> dude, this is why I miss playing Glock's, man. Because <laughs> everybody... Dude, the amount of times people misplayed around uh, disabling, like, rank 2 and rank 3 skills is just mental. So I, I, I just... I love Glock's, man, because nobody... Nobody runs Glock's, so whenever I run him... Um, it's just very easy for people to miscalculate and misplay. Oh, he might still have me here, in all fairness. I don't know, we're, we're getting a bit more tanky, but the peak of the one Escanor... If, if he didn't misplay around Glox's, um... Uh, what is it? Disable? Might, might have been in a really good position here. Okay, I think this is the play to go for. So we go for Melly's ult, smash him with that, and then we'll uh, go in with the Melly single target card. Hopefully, Melly just, like, crits Deanne. It's game over. I think it's very unlikely, though, with her tankiness. Oh, Eskimo's dead? Yeah, that's cool. That works. That, that was a cool match, man. That was a cool match. 
we definitely, um, yeah, reared ahead on the novelty of Glocks being a very quirky character there, though. So, my last opponent just wanted to, like, massively long out the match with Goddess Liz. Uh, oh, dude, he's back again. Right, let's go for it, mate. This, this time he may be able to beat me. We actually don't have the, um... What is it? We don't have a lucky uh, merger here. So I'm curious to see what he's going to go for this time. Okay, pumpkin bombs. Oh gosh, I'm just trying to think. I think I go for like all of the all the melee cards regardless. Let's just like move, move them about I reckon. Because then we still got like a pretty good play next turn of like cleansing on um, melee. And you know, we're not going to draw the ult with pumpkin bombs. So, then it depends, like, what he's got. Okay, so he's going for the send here. Uh, pretty good chance he gets Malascula down. Oh, no, he's going for Melee. Okay, a bit unexpected. He still gets Glox's Commandment on the second card. So he's in a bit of a back foot position here. And doesn't quite trigger the revive. Okay, um... Right, I think we just, like, if we send this dude, we're going to get a massive AoE heal. So let's go for that. Um, and then finally, I think we just, like, check out Glock's card as well, dude. Actually, I might merge on Molas. Yeah, I think we mer merge on Molas, killer. Just because, like, you know, that Glock's card for utility, <laughs> it might come in handy. But because of, like, all those stats, dude, we get such a massive heal off that. And you know we still got we still got Malascula's uh, cheat death in play as well, dude. So we're in a really really good spot. Again, even if he does focus on Meli, he can't kill Meliodas. So I'm not too sure. Oh, we can remove the buffs though. I guess that that is a point as well. So he does get rid of them. Um, but this point, I don't I don't know actually. He might be on Psych here. Let's go for... I think we'll follow up with the Melascular card. That's probably got the most damage potential. And then uh, go for this, man. Oh, if we can get through that tank, the end, we're in a really good spot. Or cleave down Escanor. Okay, nice, dude. Oh, my gosh. Everything lined up perfectly here. <laughs> but there we go. The one Escanor is down again, man. We get through the, the one Escanor tag teams really, really nicely with this setup. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right. Now we are 276k Megalodon here, mate. I think this is a bit of a blubbery boy. Let's uh, let's see how this one goes. Okay, we don't have the luckiest start here. Um, yeah, that additional Melascular card... <laughs> Additional Melascular cards are like the worst start we can get. Oh, he's got the lucky merger as well, mate. Off the bat. This man's laughing. Okay, he knows what he's doing as well. So I think that's... There's no pumpkin bombs in all fairness. So... Might be an okay spot there. Hmm. I think considering the circumstances, I'm actually going to dump this card. Let's go for it. Save the single target one, I reckon. I needed to dump something on Assault Mode Melee. So yeah, I thought that might be a little bit better. But he's going to go full send here, dude. There's a chance I'm getting clapped. However, actually, is it? He's not got full Escanor passive, right? Or has he just peaked? So yeah, Glock's Commandment, uh, I think might have caused his play to miscalculate a little bit there. But I'm not too sure. Hmm... Okay, th this ain't bad, man. I think we can do some of this. Mm, if we can get that Gotha down, dude. Trigger the revive. I'm, I'm not too sure he's actually going to trigger the revive, though. Escanor might straight up uh, trigger it if we crit him. Okay, nice. <laughs> so every everybody's wiping there, dude. Um, this will take a solid chunk out of Escanor, though. Make his Flood card a lot less threatening. He does hit the peak of his passive here, but I don't think he's going to be able to kill anybody. But I may be incorrect. I mean, it, it, I feel like if I've learned one thing, it's like, don't underestimate Escanor. <laughs> okay, Glock's, Glock's got a nice little buff yesterday as well, so he's got some beefy um, uh, crit resistance now. So yeah, he, he ain't doing too bad. Oh, what do we go for here? That's the question. 
I actually don't think we can get... Um... I think we go for... This play... This play... And then I think I'm just going to heal up as well. I think that's the best play to go for. Because I can't kill Escanor, dude. So yeah, I might still get, like, soloed by the one here. <laughs> it really depends on his luck at this point. Um, and also, like, how ambitious he decides to go. If he goes for AM... Uh, AM Melee, I'm pretty sure is chilling, dude. But if he, like, goes for, I don't know, Glox or Zeldris, gets lucky with the crit, 100% echoes onto AM Melee, we might be in a bit of trouble, dude. I, I do not know what's going to happen here. I'm interested to find out, though. I think Glox is the right choice. He was Glox the right choice. Okay, so that, yeah, that gets... Oh, it actually doesn't get Glocks down. There we chill him. Perfect. But yeah, that was a cool match, man. Uh, Mandloff to the uh, Azura Clan. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's look for one final opponent today. All right, now next up, dude. This this is really interesting. We got like a Ludo, a Mega Rugal team. <laughs> we got a crazy good start, though. I'm, I'm kind of interested with this one, man. What, what does he go for here? Just like full send. He's got Mega that side. I imagine you wouldn't want a Mega there, though, with this team, right? Because then that gives a chance to merge Pierce cards. I think is not what you're after. Hmm. It's definitely a player as well, this combat class, dude. Um. Okay, he's going for the rollback. So I think I just go for uh, the heal here. I think we go for the heal and... I don't think I use the melee... Actually, I might as well use one melee card next turn, I think. So, yeah. Do we go for the cleave yet? It's not bad value again for the cleave. Although... I don't know if I just want to, like, smack in. Actually, I think, I think we go for the cleave here. Should be good. I'm hoping we can draw, like, another cleave card. I think this is nice for, like, putting a solid dent in everybody. And, yeah, I was hoping it, like, wouldn't trigger Omega's passive. Because he's, he's still got Glox's Commandment, so his um, pierce rate is down by 30% as well. And then we've got Glock's ult as well. We can probably ult that Omega next turn to uh, kill. Oh, unless my Glox is dying, dude. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Glock's commandment for the win. Okay, that's pretty fantastic. Um, Yeah, I think I think we smash in one of these. Gosh, is that going to deal too much damage to Omega? I'm a bit worried it is going to deal too much damage to Omega there. I think this should be fine, actually. If we go for this um, and then smack into Ludo, and then we'll block out anything that's... um. Actually, wait. Oh, okay, right. That. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, okay, yeah, I can get like so much more damage if I go for this play. Uh, this is just the safer one. I forgot about the muscular card there at the start of the turn. But fair, fair play to Levi, though. I, I gotta respect and appreciate somebody running a little bit, something a little bit different, dude. So yeah, I think at this point, man, like we'll see what drops down, but like I'm I'm pretty confident, like, yeah, he's got no way to uh, out damage me and win this match. So you know what? I'm gonna give uh Levi the polite bow. He gets my respect there. You can have the match, dude. I appreciate you running something that's a little bit out there. So yeah, good on you, lad. But anyway, let's try and find our final opponent. Alright, come on, man. Let's see some megalodons here. Oh, we got Ludo. Okay, dude. 272 Ludo, the one Escanor, bro. Yeah, I'm might get clapped here. Oh, we got second Melascala card. No, bro. That's not what I want here. Dude, having that second Glox card start last match was clutch AF, man. That was so good. Um, I think the good news here, maybe, is we can still... Actually, I don't know. Oh, nice. Glox's command one came in so clutch there. Lowered Escanor's attack just enough. And now we can, like, uh, life drink here on Melascala. And then I think if we go for the melee cleave and then just move around the Meliodas card. Want to like start getting toward that ult, but obviously we don't want uh, Glox's commandment. So yeah, this this should be really, really nice. Okay, nice chunk of damage there. Malaska didn't heal up really as much as I wanted uh, her to there. But I think we're in a good spot now. We can, we can probably, like Escanor, he's not going to be able to do too much this turn actually. Because he's, he's still got Glox's commandment. Glox is actually mad clutch, dude. 
Honestly, I've, I've thought this for a while, but Glox is like still one of the most underrated characters. Actually, it's so good <laughs> that he killed Melascula there. Because, yeah, that was all my dead cards there, bro. Um, gosh, am I in a little bit of trouble? Maybe. I've still got the commandment I need to worry about. Do we just full send here, though? Gonna, what's the damage difference going to be? Okay, I think we ga gamble for the crit. There's a pretty good chance we crit anyway. Like, you know, look at the buffs we got. Look at the amount of... Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like, it was pretty much guaranteed at that point, dude. I mean, it was a, a very, uh, very easy to win gamble. Okay, nice, dude. And then we're at this point in the match now that if we were running Droll or somebody else again, we could just get, like, stun chained here. But the fact that we got Glocks and we've blocked out all the level 2 cards is... Oh, my God, dude. It's so, Glocks is so good. Unbelievable, mate. We're actually having a full-on chuckle here. So, yeah, this this is this part of my trap card, man. Played, played right into it. Because then we've got... We got, you know, this this cheeky little boy here. Hello, what's this? Oh, it removes debuffs. Oh, mate, I didn't see that one coming, fella. Oh, no, what a bad time. Let's go. 6-6 six, six, Meliodas Salt. Having a proper chuckle, mate. This man's going straight in the bin. And we're laughing uh, all our way to a fat W. So, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, actually, we got a revive on Ghost. I was just about to do the outro. <laughs> It's another, another, another turn. Uh, but yeah, we got Glock's all next turn, so we're, we're chilling anyway. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy today's uh, UR gear showcase for Assault Mode, Meliodas, and Glocks. Honestly, man, this combo, like, is so, so damn good. So yeah, definitely one that I'm having a fair bit of um, uh, fun playing about with today. But let me know your thoughts on Glocks and Assault Melee in the, uh, the comments section below. And if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.